Quick story. A girl and a guy met and fall for each other. They both love music, so decide to work together. And they were pretty good at it. Now on the surface, everything looked perfect. But oh, the stress of the city. So they decided otherwise. They packed up and left for the countryside. And that's where we meet this family, raising their children, growing their own food and their business together on a quest to find a new normal and a new sense of happiness. And if you're looking for the same thing, then join us and we can unpack this thing called life together. Where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I'm Shamel Olwago, my husband's Amondi Olwago, and together we are Nilochi. And this is ZQuest. Hello and welcome to another episode of ZQuest Extras. We're happy to have you and I always mess this up. I don't, I'm not even going to bother anymore. No, you shouldn't. I'm not. What for? For who? <laughs> for who? <laughs> for who? For our one listener in Virginia. Right, and I think they're used to it now. I think so. They're yeah. like, she fumbles it all the time. Just right. let it go, Shem. <laughs> let it go. All right. Yeah. Today we're actually going to be talking about if it's actually possible to get some truth back into politics. Now, if you're not somebody who considers yourself a political person, um, you're allowed to do so. But the whole thing is, the way this uh, society is set up is that it affects every aspect of your life, one way or another, whether you would like to admit it or not. So, here we are, trying to figure out if truth, bringing back truth, is going to be possible for us to do in today's political society. What do you think? Um... No, <laughs> I, love, I love the reason. <laughs> okay, and ended it there. <laughs> now, do you know what? Before we uh, talk about this, how was your week? How do, how do you feel? I actually had a rough week because you know I had another symptoms of my thyroid situation going on, and it was and it sucked. But I fought through it, and uh, I am here. I am here again, and uh, I'm happy for that. That's good. But it sucked. Of Outside course. of that, the weather was lovely. That's what, I, every day I just got out a little bit and, you know, took a little bit of fresh air in and then just rolled back into my bed. Some good vitamin D. Yeah. And, yeah. and, mm. and but other than that, it was, it was a decent week, except for the, th- the fact that I thought my, my head was going to explode. But yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty good. It's, it's pretty, pretty all right. Oh, okay. 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 Good, to, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, and crypto's having a decent week. Yeah. It was a bit rough at the beginning. Yeah, you know. Um, But no, no, no. It's can, back can, in the can, green. Can you still FOMO at that point? You can still FOMO in if you want yeah, to. Yeah, you can FOMO in, innit? Yeah. Oh, okay. Love yeah, Bitcoin, well, though. Don't don't FOMO into Bitcoin. I think it's... No, that's, uh, that's think, for the big boys, you know? I the, think it's. I think it's too late. Yeah, you'll have to wait. Uh, Just wait a bit. Wait the bear, till the bear, bear market. Markets, yeah, mm. absolutely. Um, yeah. So um, good, good, yeah, good, yeah. good, good week. Okay. Despite the uh, despite being crippled for about four, four, four days. Yeah. Well, you know, um, <clears throat> maybe someone knows uh, how to uh, cure. Um, yeah, leave it in the comment section and find the cure. Just like that. <laughs> Hypothyroid, you know, and um, yeah, if you know, you know, what, yeah. just let us know. I am um, interested, genuinely. Yeah. Um, so, uh, back How to... was your week, considering you, you were playing um, mum all week? Yeah, well, it was okay, you know, it was fine. Uh, nothing much. Um, eh, nothing much, just, uh, you know, same old, you know. What an um, anti-feminist thing to say. Hmm? That you were playing mum all week. Oh, no, I, did, I never took it like this, you know. Oh, good. No, no, no. no. That's a shame because I meant it like that. I know you did. <laughs> 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 no, you know what? Uh, how was my week? Um, You know what? I'm actually uh, keeping my good eye on Cardano. Oh, you are? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. smart contracts are, you know, okay. going to be cool. Really well, I guess, it's something, uh, I guess it's something to look forward to. Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see. You know, I think they'd be on time, and it's going, it's going to do amazing this this September. Crypto is a, is a, is the old month, you know. I think so. Yeah, I think it's alt season coming through. Alt season. Yeah. I was actually thinking that this week was a better week because I watched less news. Yeah. 
Uh, it's kind of anxious. Um, how do you say anxious? Um, no, anxious. Uh, no, that's the French one. Uh, that's the French one. Um, uh, how do you say it? Um, it, it's, it? It induces anxiousness. It induces anxiousness, yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Love, anxiety, throw the news. Really. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I stay away from the news. It's, it's specifically if it start repeating itself and seeing the same thing. So let's don't be like we say in French. Yeah, is it, I think what it's come down to is the fact that when you deal with something that where you're trying to make yourself feel better and get better, like with your health, yeah, the least negative input that you can deal with, the best. True, true, true. So I generally find the weeks where I'm not very well staying away from the news as yeah. much as I can do you know I just want I'm actually using the news as like something that's entertaining like, you like, are. yeah because when you see the contradiction and what's happening and, and you see you know all thing going on in the world uh, it, it has this has a, a entertaining aspect depending on how you interpret it and how you take it now it's not all happy or anything like this but there is still some things that you know I want to see people blatantly coming on, on, on the news and, and, and lying about we all know it's a lie you know it's, it's really I'm like wow not even phased they're not even phased do, by what they're saying I'm do, like, you miss, sh- do you miss you know? the Trump administration news? Uh, n- no I think we got Trump version 2 man 2.0 yeah 2.0 yeah and I think as, 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 as far as the battlegrounds between the two political parties as well. Yeah. That's that's like, like more ingrained than yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't miss um, the before. And it was sure, the shenanigans of I'm it. Sure it was very entertaining. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was absolutely entertaining. It was great. I mean, every time. I- <laughs> <laughs> it was entertaining. Come on. Like, you know? if you take nothing away from there, yeah. it was entertaining. It was. So, no, I don't miss it. Um, but... Um, I, I don't care much for it. It's just that it's it's entertaining to see the way people act sometimes. I didn't mean miss it as in, oh my gosh, how you miss, you know, a childhood the, the friend. I'm talking factor. about how you miss it like you miss one of your favorite programs on Netflix. Like. Oh, um, no, no, no. Do you know what? Like I said, season two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, yeah, I'm still really entertained by the way people are acting on the news at the moment. Yeah. All right. So, um, so do you want to know this? I went on to the conversation.com and that's usually like a couple f- philosophy places where we go and, you know, read a couple articles from and find out, you know, just different things because that's what we're interested in. And I found a really good article about um, Stebbing. Stebbing is Susan Stebbing and she is a very underrated <laughs> philosopher of our time. And she was out back around let me get the date correct in 1933 um she actually got her full professorship in psychology and she was one of the greats but you know the way that you know um society set up society set up in some places at the time yeah it was she was you know had to be in the shade and engulfed by her male counterparts but the way that books and, and, and learning is, is set up is that doesn't matter because you can now discover people who had not previously been at the forefront but still had great contri- things to contribute. Yeah. You know, so uh, who cares? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? You won in the end, Susan. Uh, yeah. You did. But um, what, what, what's your dead though? That's, I that's know, down, I tragically, but yes. That's, yeah. Um, at least she got to contribute and now her contributions are making a difference to the way that we can possibly find ways to move forward some things are evergreen yeah and this and, and this is one of them i yeah. believe um so stebbing her book came out in 1939 and the book is called thinking to some purpose and it was basically a, a, a book that she'd written, not just for her peers, but for ordinary people. In her mind, she was like, if I can get this book out to just regular degular folk, maybe we can start having constructive debate conversations and, you know, open dialogue about the things that affect us all. This yeah, was the yeah, hope. Yeah, well, you know, it's a good hope to have. You it know? was a great hope to have. And yeah. I think it was a great roadmap. But here we are. 
So um, she calls for some people to think clearly and unclouded by unconscious bias and unrecognized ignorance. Now, what stands out to me is the unrecognized ignorance. Yeah. Sometimes you could be ignorant about something and you don't know you're being ignorant about something. True. Mm -hmm. Like you haven't even, you don't, you don't even see it like that. You didn't even recognize it like that. Yeah. But it is that. Yeah. And I think that there's a mixture of those three things going on right now in the political sphere. So, because because you were talking about, um, is it possible to uh, bring? Uh, what was you, the first question? Is truth, it possible to bring back truth? To bring back truth in into politics, po- into, into politics, politics. Yeah, into politics. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I, I understand what she's saying by saying that some people may be totally ignorant mm. and not not realize it. Uh, well, the thing is, unrecognized ignorance. I would say. <sighs> is left for people who would claim that they're not political. Would you think that comes uh, from uh, uh, an, an extreme strong belief? So um, what I'm trying to say when I say that, it's Go. that you believe so much that you're doing good, too much that you can't see that when you're doing bad. Yeah. The, it's like, you know, it's like a- um, Righteousness. A, a righteousness at, at its most. I think that that's what a whole bunch of people are suffering from right now. So the the road to hell is paved with good, good intention. It's yeah. exactly how I feel right yeah. now about the whole entire sphere. I'm like, oh, everyone thinks that they're just doing the best. But do you know what? Um, there's a French lawyer at the moment. He's thinking otherwise. He's thinking those people are well aware um, of what they're doing. It's like there's, there's an interest well, there's the um, monetary interest, which is clear. Because can you say that you don't know when, you know, can you say that? I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't know. When this blows over, can you say, oh, I didn't know. But then people were like, yeah, but you, how much were you paid? And were you, were, were you paid look, from this and this look, company? And I you think know, any rational, <laughs> rational, um, unbiased, unpaid um, or unswayed, um, judge would 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 be able to turn around and be like, you know what? It's either you knew better and chose not to, which yeah. in that case you can go to jail, or you didn't know better and you did it anyway because you thought it was the right thing to do, which in that case means you're unfit to serve again. Yeah. Well, you can't serve. The thing is, it's actually, um, if they pull that off, they're really good because uh, there's so many people that are against what's going on at the moment, you know, surrounding the vaccine and surrounding uh, the lockdown and all those issues that we're facing at the moment. Yeah. So, uh, and including the environment as well. Oh, um, gosh. So, so, so it's so, like, so, have so, we not had enough? Because a whole swathe uh, of, of, of Germany just, just was suffering. Oh yeah, with the flooding. With the flooding. Yeah, with the floodings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. And Belgium. Yeah, and Netherlands as well. True. It oh, got a lot of countries. It, like it was all. It was because of the river. It was because yeah. the river ran through three of them. True, true, true. That. Um, yeah. So, so, so my point is like, it's difficult for you to actually want this blows over, yeah, to pull to pull that off because there's too many people that are complaining right now. And actually mentioning uh, facts by saying, no, we can't do this or that because here's the thing, this causes that and whatever the arguments are. And you- If they were and, all and, taken and, and, into and, consideration. And you, hear, you, hear, you cannot yeah. not hear it. It's like um, what's happening in France at the moment. But you cannot um, hear it. People in the street- I don't agree with that. Oh, you, it's not. Th- no. This is where it, well, there's another- uh, You can not hear the other side. Unfortunately ah, now. How? That's why right. I don't really get. Okay. How do you do that? This is the unfortunate this is the unfortunate side of now modern day media and social media. We've created echo chambers. I understand. So if you want to just hang around with people who believe in the same things you believe yeah. and do the same things you do and hate the same people you hate, you can do that. And you <laughs> can be in your own little bubble without ever hearing anything different or opposed to what it is that you think. And that type of behavior reinforces your beliefs 
to the point where you don't only think that you're right, you think that your rights have a right over other people's rights because of how right you are. You've da- now you've become righteous. Yeah.